Hello, my name's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't noticed already, we're almost finished the month of October, the best month of the entire year. And I wanted to make something that was sort of spooky yet cozy. So this year was the first year I ever watched the miniseries Over the Garden Wall. I don't know how it took me so many years to watch it because as soon as I watched it, I was just shocked that I'd never seen it before because it is so up my alley. So I wanted to make Greg and Wirt from that show. And here's how I did it. Let's go. So I started off with Wirt's body. I didn't actually film me making this for some strange reason, so this is where we're at. He's got some boots, he's got some pant legs, and just the rough shape of his body is laid out here. So Wirt's costume is gonna be pretty simple. I decided to just make his coat closed. I didn't want to make his arms because I knew Greg was gonna be a lot of work and a lot of detail. So I just put a little bit of a clay wrap around him to create the folds of the coat at the front. It's really important that the coat was flaring out because there are some special details about his coat that I'll add in later on. If you've never seen this show before, I highly suggest you watch it. I watched it on Amazon Prime as one of the additional channels that you can just purchase and add on. It takes about an hour and a half to watch it all and it's truly amazing. I've watched it four times since I saw it at the beginning of the month and just the music, the story. I don't really want to give any of it away, but basically, basically, it's about two brothers who find themselves in this place that is very strange and very Halloween-esque and inspired by a lot of classic media like Wizard of Oz and a lot of old black and white films. It's really, really good. I recommend you watch if you like cozy things that are sort of they make you think whenever you watch it. There's there's some hidden stuff in this show. Anyway, so for Wirt, I added on his eyes, his nose, and right here I'm adding on some of his hair. So I just add on the little blobs of clay, little flat blobs that you can sort of cut out and shape into the hair spikes. For the eyes, I used this tool. It's a flat circle on one side, it's sort of this slanted cylinder, sliced cylinder thingy. I don't really know what it is, but I'm able to push the end of it into the clay to create the indentations for the eyes while also making the eyeballs sort of rounded. I found in the past I've had trouble where the eyeballs for things look like they're protruding out of the face because I'll add on a ball of clay as the eye when really the eye should be sculpted into the face, not built out. So I did that for these sculptures here, and I think it looked pretty good. Last little thing for his face is I add on his teeny tiny smile. And I don't want it to be too intense. I don't want it to look like his mouth is open or anything. So just this tiny smile slit here. And then I also have to add his six buttons along the front of his coat. So I just made little spots for those and then made little balls of clay that I would push in and flatten out as well as the little looping fabric that he's got at the top button. Now that Wirt's all done, we can move on to Greg, whose design is far, far more complex than Wirt's is. So for Greg, I start off with this very rough shape. He's just a glorified cylinder on legs. <laughs> I shape out his pants a little bit more, and he's got this very distinct folding diaper sort of-esque thing going on with his pants. So I make sure to add that in the front and the back. I chop his legs off real short, make them nice and stubby, so I can add the shoes onto there. I really wanted the seam from the pants to the... I think he's wearing high socks, or like later hosen, I think they might be called, in the show. So I really wanted that to be nice and sharp. I drew out the line of his shirt separating his neck, and then I added on his cheeks, so just two little balls of clay. After adding on the cheeks, I add on the nose. We push down the eyes similar to how I did with Wirt, and then I can shape out the cheeks a little bit more. I don't want them to be too ball-like, since they are supposed to just be filled cheeks. So I shape those out, and then I add the tiny little X where his pursed lips are. I 
I add on his rotund little chin. <laughs> He's so cute looking here. And then the next thing I go to add on are the front co folded collar part of his shirt, as well as the suspenders for his pants. And then the next thing I add after that is his arms. So out here I was just getting the rough length of them. I add on the arms, seam them all together, and then I start to sort of shape out the hand. He is pinching his cheeks by kind of pushing them together with his index finger. So I really roughly shape out the index finger and then I use one of my nails to sort of draw in the lines of the rest of his fingers that are all folded together. He's got stubby hands, so they don't need a lot of detail, thankfully. Last thing to add onto the front of him is the little bolo bow tie black hanging tie thingy that he's got on the front of him, so I add that on. And then I start to work on his hair, similar to what I did with Wirt. He just gets slip slunk slaps of clay, slip slap slapped onto his face, and then I kind of cut out the shapes of the individual hair chunks. Also add on the ears here. So the next thing we're doing for Greg is adding on his teapot hat. So I just added on this very grotesque looking <laughs> teapot chunk shape to the top of his head and then shaped out the little tea spout on one side and then the handle on the other side. The teapot is pretty um, worse for wear, let's just say. It, it, it's, it's not my best teapot, but it needed to sort of sit on his head and Eh, it didn't really matter that much, I think, as long as it's got the shape of it. And then I add on the frog afterwards. Just stick him to the top. You don't need to know how he came into existence, it's totally fun. And then we add on some texture to the top of the frog, and then we can get to baking and painting the best part. So, like always, I primed these guys with just some white gesso primer. I mixed a custom skin tone for both Greg and Wirt, they got the same color. And then for his legs, he's got this sort of off-white color, so I made sure to paint that. And then I added on the black of his hair. His eyes got painted over with the skin color, but it really doesn't matter because I'm gonna go back in later on and whiten up his eyes then. And one of the beautiful things about painting figurines is you start with the lowest shade, so his skin tone, and then on top of that is his hair. And you can be messy with the bottom layers because as you paint the top layers, you can clean up with you messed up before. <laughs> Painting his red hat was very satisfying. It's a very bright red color. And then I painted his pants this bluish gray color. And his little shoes are gonna get this much darker blue black color. And the best part here was painting the inside of his jacket. So the inside of his jacket on the show is the bright red, same as his hat. And I really wanted that detail. So I made sure that I added that on and then I added on the blue of his jacket. And this is only one coat here. I usually have to do two to three coats of each color, depending on if it's a darker color, it usually needs more coats. So I add on his neck paint and then I have to be super careful doing his teeny tiny eyebrows. And then I colored in his mouth with some red, kind of messed it up a little bit and went back over it with the skin color. Didn't want him to look like he's got lipstick, just wanted him to have a little bit more color detailing around his mouth. And then I have to add his pupils. These look, not gonna lie, I'm, I'm kind of not happy with how his eyes look. They kind of look terrified and like they're looking in <laughs> different directions, but you know, it's okay. They're just eyes. And last thing for work is I have to add on the yellow little buttons on the front of his jacket. Now we're done we move on to Greg. So he gets the same skin tone all over his little face. And I always add on some nice little color gradients later on. I make his cheeks sort of rosy. I add some pink in his ears, not his mouth, all that kind of stuff. His pant sock thingies, I don't know what to call them, his later hosen are painted the same sort of off-white color that I paint Wurt socks in. And then I paint his hair. He's a slightly more blonde colored hair than Wurt has, so I painted his hair slightly blonder. And the next thing I paint with Greg is his beautiful green pants. He has these really bright, nice green colored pants, so I paint those. Make sure to get the straps as well. And then he's got a little bag, so I paint his bag a brown color. I think it was the same brown that I used for uh, Wurt's hair. So I painted the 
bag strap as well. Made sure to get the edge, make it all nice and crispy clean. Next thing for Greg was to do his pupils. So I tried to use a daughter tool for his pupils. It kind of worked, kind of didn't. His pupils are also sort of janky, <laughs> same as words. So just try to ignore them, please. Painted the black of his little tie, bolo tie thing and his buttons. And then I start to paint the teapot. So the teapot, I did mix some silver in with a gray color because I want it to be slightly reflective, but not uber super silver reflective. And then I start to paint the frog. So the frog is a much more neon green color than Wirt's pants. It looks far more neon in video than it does in real life. His mouth is a sort of, I don't even know what to call it other than a sewage green color. So I painted in his lips there. And then I also painted his back and along his legs with the same putrid sewage green color because he does have some interesting back markings in the show. After the frog back and legs are all done, I have to paint his pupils. So like I did with Wirt and Greg, his eyes kind of got painted over. So I have to add the white back in and then I can add the black on top. The daughter tool worked much better for the frog than it did with Greg for the pupils. And then the last thing I have to do is attach them to their bases. My super glue was not sealed properly, so I have this super, super tacky, awful stringy glue <laughs> that I used to glue them down, but it doesn't matter because it's still stuck. So that's, that's all that matters. That's the important part. For both of them, they got this sort of wooden base that I made. I also added some UV resin to everybody's eyes, including the frogs. Do not mind my janky paintbrush. I have too many paintbrushes that cost way too much money for me to ruin them with resin, so I use this awful shredded one instead. And then we can get on to the final reveal. Thanks so much for hanging out with me this week. I hope you all loved these beautiful little sculptures. I really, really like them, especially Greg. I think his character design is just so interesting and fun. I really love how cute he is and his cute little cheeks. There are definitely some things that I would change if I were to remake both of these characters, but they are still perfect and I love them. If you like watching videos of people making things, Maybe you should take a peek at my other videos I have on my channel. I make a lot of stuff from sculpting to painting to drawing. If you like any of my work, also consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it since I'm trying to grow. I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye!